welcome back to Blushing Shades. This is my weekly blushing obsessions, and I know I have some new subscribers. I just want to say hi to you guys. Welcome to my channel. This is just where I share with you um, the things that I've been loving for the week. And before I get on to my goodies that I want to talk about, I did record my part three of my Best in Beauty, but I didn't record it because <laughs> it wasn't recording when I was actually filming it. So I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed in it because it was a very long video and I put a lot of effort into that video. So I'm going to have to refilm it for you guys. So stay tuned for that. I don't know when it's going to be up. It might even be up this weekend or on Tuesday because I did let you guys know that I will be uploading Tuesdays and Fridays just because my schedule is going to be crazy busy the next few months. So that's what's been going on that will be up for you guys and I know some of you guys were also wondering if I'm going to be doing some tutorials on the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. Yes, it is coming. I plan on maybe doing that on Tuesday if I can. So stay tuned for that and I still, I really like it. I know there's a lot of mixed reviews about it. Me personally, I really enjoyed it. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is this nail polish. This is from the OPI. 50 Shades of Grey collection and I got mine in the color Embrace the Grey. They did have a lighter shade which was like a cement type grey but um, I thought I would get a better use out of this one and I am wearing it today on my nails. I've had this on forever and no chips. So I'm part of it is the top coat that I'm using and it's the Formula X top coat. It's like my holy grail. It's the best in my opinion because I know some people are like uh, oh, it's not their favorite but for me it definitely does work and I'm I mean, I got two kids, so these hands are going through a lot. Love the color. I think it's gorgeous. I do have it on my Instagram if you guys want to take a closer look. But it is the only one that stood out to me. I was kind of disappointed in the colors that they had because they're very similar to the ones that I already have in my collection. So that is what I've been using for my eyes this week. I pulled out the Stila in the No palette. This is an all mattes palette, and it is amazing. I really like it. Haven't been able to put it down. I'm a neutrals girl, so I'm really drawn to these colors, but I even, I, I especially love like these kind of warm reddish orange type colors for the crease. That's what I'm wearing today in, in through the crease, along with another eyeshadow that I do want to talk about. Um, I like an all mattes look on the eyes, but I still like some shimmer to throw onto the eyelids. But if you guys are wondering about this palette, I think the quality of these eyeshadows are really nice. They blend really nicely, they're really pigmented, just really great quality. So if you can get your hands on this, I really recommend it. I don't know if they're going to discontinue this palette. I know they have their new ones out, which is an all matte, and I think they have another one that just got re released, but I don't know if the quality is the same or what. So let me know in the comments down below if the quality of the new eyeshadow palettes are just as good as these ones. But love this, really, really like it two eyeshadows that I've been kind of throwing in with the mix. This one is the Makeup Forever. It's a matte shadow, I believe, in 664 or 644. I will leave it in the description box of all everything that I'm talking about. But Jaclyn Hill featured this in her favorites, and of course, everything that she talks about, I need to have. This is a shade right here. It's kind of like your brown, caramel, neutral shade. It's beautiful in the crease. I am also wearing it today with that palette. I love it. It's, I can see why she loves this color so much. So, the, and this is like super pigmented, like you need very little on your brush. This will pick up a lot of product. And I mean, I, I've, I've heard that some people are having a hard time working with some of the matte shadows, but just take a little bit at a time and just yeah, work with it a little bit, blend it out as much as you can, but I find that these matte eyeshadows blend really nicely. So, love this color. Hi oh, I guess I should, I'll swatch it for you. Okay, there we go. Here's the color right there. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. I also did post a, a picture on my Instagram with this too. Okay, so love that. And the eyeshadow that I... This has to be my favorite gold eyeshadow ever, and it's by ColourPop, and it's called Get Lucky. It is beautiful. The hype on these eyeshadows are just, they're on fire here on YouTube. Everybody loves them, but really, you guys, they're for a very good reason. My friend April was nice enough to send me some of these to try, and I'm just so grateful. They're $5, and for $5, you cannot go wrong. Eventually, I'm going to end up getting more, but... 
how gorgeous is that gold? I just love it. Love it. So I am wearing that on my eyes, on my eyelids today, and I've been pretty much reaching, reaching for it all week. For blush, well, let's just start off with this bronzer because I haven't been really contouring my face this week. I've just been kind of warming it up. My skin's been looking kind of dull lately. I don't know what is going on with my skin, but it is... Uh, I, I, I just don't know. So I pulled out this Cover FX Bronzed in the color gold. I've been using this just to warm up my face to kind of give it some glow, some life back into my face. So that is the shade right there. I am wearing it today. I don't know if you guys can tell on, on camera, but I really like it. It's the perfect shade to actually warm up my face too because it's not too dark and it's not too light. It's actually like the perfect shade for me. This product almost reminds, well, this color uh, reminds me of the Balm, the Balm's Betty, Betty Luminizer, the, the darker bronze one but not as pigmented and as dark. This is actually a little bit lighter, so mo more people can get away with this than the balm, but it is so beautiful on. It just brings life back to my skin. So really, really like this, and I've been really enjoying Cover FX products lately. They are amazing. I do want to try more in that line. Two blushes that I've been rotating this week. Um, I guess I'll start off with Sonia Kashuk. This is the blush in Sunset. It is beautiful. It's a really nice peachy pink color. And again, it just kind of just brings life to my cheeks because it's, just, I just, I don't know, my skin is just so dull. This is just a beautiful color. I really like the quality of these blushes. They're really nice. Like they're very pigmented, very easy to work with. They're not powdery. They're very soft and smooth. So that is the color blended out. Beautiful. It does. When you look at it, it's got some sheen to it, so you don't have to wear a highlighter with this. This kind of almost reminds me of the Clinique blush blushes. What are those ones called? The ones with the flowers? This actually reminds me of those. So if you're somebody that doesn't like like a shimmery blush because it just kind of emphasizes your pores a little bit more, this will not do that. I don't find that this blush does that. So love that. And the next one is from a MAC collection from last year. I've been kind of just pulling things out, shopping my collection because I don't want to do any shopping. And this is the Extra Dimension Blush in Pleasure model. If you have NARS Lovejoy, it's actually very similar. Um, this is just really extremely soft and smooth. That is the shade right there. It is so beautiful. I know I keep saying beautiful, but it really is beautiful. And I am wearing that today on my cheeks today for you guys. I did try to film a get ready with me using my favorite products for this week, but it didn't happen. My kids didn't let me. So that is a shade right there. Kind of just a nice bronzy, bronzy gold rose shade. I don't know, something like that. But that's the color right there. Love these. For me, these can be a hit and miss in some of their collections, but this was a definite hit for me. But like I said, if you have Love Joy by NARS, it's they're very similar because I know you can't, I don't think you can get this anymore, maybe on eBay or at a CCO, which Canada doesn't have a CCO, unfortunately. <laughs> we never have anything here. Mascara, this is the Maybelline Lash Sensation. Is that all, is that all it's called? The Lash Sensational? Yep, that's what it is. This one reminded me of the L'Oreal Butterfly Mascara, which I did not like. That one just did nothing for me. <laughs> and if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I'm extremely picky when it comes to mascara. But this one is really, really nice. It is super black. It holds my curl. It does not feel crunchy. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't flake. It, I don't know, it's really nice. It does a great job of giving me some volume and some, even length. For me, it, it gets, it's giving me a lot of length. So I'm loving this mascara, very, very impressed, and I have not been impressed with most mascaras that, that have been coming out lately. But this one is really good. Now moving on to lip products, and this video is done. Two lip combos that I've been wearing all week. So that, the first one I'll share with you, I'm kind of, 
I'm having like spring fever or fe yeah, spring fever. I want spring to come so badly. I'm actually tired of wearing the like cranberry or reds or the browns for that matter because I've been into like those type of shades. So this is a, um, a pink color by MAC. This is from one of their collections from last year too. It's called Prink, Pink Frid, Fridge. Pink Fridge. Oh. Get it together, Lisa. Come on. Pink Fringe Satin. It's a satin finish. So here's the color right there. This has to be my favorite pink ever, I think. It's that good. So I actually wore it with the Sonia Kashuk blush. I'm running out of room. Let's just swatch it on the other side. So this has tiny, tiny specks of purple or blue sparkle to it. And I just think it complements a lot of skin tones for that reason. So that is the color right there. Love, love, love this pink. I hope, I th and when I first bought this lipstick, the lady told me that they came out with something very similar to this color, so she was actually happy that they came out with it. But if you guys were able to get your hands on it, it's it's a beautiful, beautiful pink. So there it is right there. And I've been pairing that with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Obsessed. And it just goes perfectly. Actually, it's very, very close very close in shade it might be just slightly a bit darker but and it's it's matte right where this has a little bit well it's a satin finish but it has some like blue or purple sparkle to it it's really pretty um, but nothing that you can feel on your lips it's just very very slight so I've been loving that combo just to kind of bring on the, the spring like I want spring to come now already I'm so tired of the snow you guys have no idea the last lip combo is this one here. This is Max Mineralized Rich, which I love the mineralized uh, lipsticks in a touch of earth. This is part of the collection as well. It is beautiful. If you were into like those like brownish kind of grayish colors, then you will like this. It's not a shade for everybody. I am wearing it today, but paired with oak kind of warms up, warms up a little bit. It doesn't, um, bring out that gray undertone to it and I know that stone lip liner might bring the gray out a little bit more so if you want to tone it down add maybe a little bit more warmth then you could well let me swatch this first I'll swatch it right here these are really creamy and nice nicely pigmented but that's the shade right there so it's kind of like a neutral brownish gray color um, so a lot warmer than some of the ones that I do have by MAC and I've been pairing that with oak oak lip liner so yeah, if you pair it with oak, it's just gonna bring out that warmth in the brown in there. So that is the combo that I've been wearing uh, this week and I am wearing it today and I love it. And that is it for my weekly blushing obsession. Stay tuned for my next video, which I might have one up this weekend or I might just have it up on Tuesday, not sure. It's either gonna be my part three beauty favorites or it's gonna be a tutorial on the too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. If you guys want to see a look using the In The Moment Palette, let me know if you want to see a look on this. I'm going to try to like explore and use some different colors for you guys because I know I kind of do the same looks over and over again. Maybe I'll do that with the Chocolate Bar Semi Sweet Palette for you guys. And that is it. I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye.